Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Every morning at the mine you would see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed 245. Kind of broad at the shoulder, narrow at the hip. Everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Big John, Big John. Big Bad John. Nobody seemed to know when John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. Didn't say much, kind of quiet and shy. And if you spoke at all, you'd just say hi to Big John. Somebody said he came from New Orleans, where he got in a fight over a Cajun queen. The crushing blow from a huge right hand sent a Louisiana fella to the promised land, Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Then came that day at the bottom of the mine when the timber cracked and men started crying. Miners were praying and hearts beat fast. And everybody thought they'd breathe their last, said John. Through the dust and the smoke of this man-made hell that walked a giant of a man that the miners knew well. He grabbed a sagging timber, gave out with a groan, and like a giant oak tree, he stood there alone, Big John. Big John, Big John. But with all his strength, he gave a mighty shove and a miner yelled, there's a light up above. And Twenty men scrambled from a would-be grave. Now there's only one left down there to save, Big John. Well, with jacks and timbers, they started back down. Then came that rumble way down in the ground. And then smoke and gas belched out of that mine. And everybody knew it was the end of the line for Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Now they never reopened that worthless pit. They just placed a marble stand in front of it. And these few your words were written on that stand. At the bottom of this mine lies one hell of a man, Big John. Big John. Big John, Big Bad John.